All right, so this is a steel rod lengths question in which you have, you're kind of doing quality assurance because it says that the, the lengths must be between 24.9 and 25.1 centimeters. So you're, you're producing these steel rods and they need to be between this tolerance. All right, so some of them you're gonna have to throw out and the other, most of them you should be keeping depending on your manufacturing process. So this is a normal distribution, okay? And why is it a normal distribution? Because think about the random variable here. It's the length of the rod. So length is a continuous random variable. All right, so let's think about this question. It says steel rods are manufactured with a mean length of 25 centimeters. Because of variability in the manufacturing process, the lengths of the rods are approximately normally distributed with the standard deviation of 0.75 centimeters. You get that? When you're producing these rods, they're not going to be exact. There's some variability in the length of the rod, right? I'm going to focus on part D. It's the hardest part of this question. It says, if an order comes in for 10,000 steel rods, how many rods should the plant manager expect to manufacture if the order states that all rods must be between 24.9 and 25.1 centimeters? Okay, let's see. All right, so first we need to find out what proportion of the rods will be accepted. Only ones within this range. So we need to find the probability that the length of the rod is within that range. So we can draw a picture in the middle with the 25. Because we know that X, the length of the rod, is normally distributed with mean 25, right? The mean length is 25, and the standard deviation is 0.05. Distribution is right down here in bars, the distribution under the arrow here. The second distribution, norm CDF right here, 24.9, getting 0 0.9545. It's kind of important that you're precise here. You see why in second. Alright, so that's the first part. You know, that's the percentage of rods that will be accepted, okay? Percentage of rods accepted. So the second phase of this question is to think about this for a second. It says an order comes in for 10,000 rods. That's how many rods we need, okay? 10,000 rods. That's how many we need. But if some of them are, are rejected, you need to produce more than 10,000 in order to get 10,000 accepted. So that's a percentage question. All that is is a percentage question. It's kind of like one way to think about it is you know, there's a couple methods, right? Method 1, 0 0.95. Or five times some value to get to 10,000, or you can do like part over whole, which is called method two. Part over whole equals percentage over 100. Those are, those are two good methods to, to answer this percentage question. This one's sort of straightforward x is equal to 10,000 divided by 0.9545. Now I need it to be pretty accurate here and precise on this in order for this division question to give me a good answer. If I round this to like, for instance, 0.95, I'm probably going to get the wrong answer here. And I can show you the difference here, so check this out. 10,000 divided by 0.99545 gives you that. But if I do 10,000 divided by 0.95, so I'm either getting 10,476 or 10,526. That's a big difference, man. You see how big that difference is Just because you round it differently there? So you need to be precise if you want to get this answer correct. So there's a level of tolerance with which they'll accept. So it's basically 10,476. You need to produce that many. And you can check your answer because if you multiply 0.9545 times 10,476, that should give you your 10,000 rods, right? So we'll do 10,476 times 0.9545. And that gives you our 10,000 exact. Now method two, you can that the part is 10,000 and the whole you don't know the 
the percentage was 95.45 divided by 100 and then just cross multiply getting 95.45 x equals a million because 100 times 10,000 is a million and then just divide by x and you'll get the same answer you're gonna get x equals to 10,476 so you get the same answer all right so just to recap you need to produce 10,476 steel rods if you want to end up with 10,000 useful rods because you're going to throw out how many around 476 why are you going to throw out 476 because 95.45 percent of the rods are going to be accepted and the other ones are going to be rejected got it that's it